Welcome to beautiful Barbados. Today we are here on this beach with an anxiety and stress relief yoga flow that will focus on a sequence of mindful movement and breath work to soothe the nervous system, calm the mind, and find inner peace amidst life's challenges. As we move through each posture, I invite you to cultivate a sense of compassion towards yourself, honoring whatever emotions arise with an open heart and without judgment. Know that it's okay to feel exactly as you are in this moment. And through the practice of yoga, we can learn to embrace our experiences with greater ease and acceptance. Set an intention for this practice to let go of worry, fear, and doubt, and to invite a sense of peace, clarity, and serenity. Trust in the healing power of your own breath and the wisdom of your body as we flow through the sequence together. Let's begin. Thank you for joining me here today on this beautiful beach for this practice. We're going to get started by coming over towards the very back of our mat. Bring your feet and your knees together and just sit on top of your heels. Place both hands onto your heart. Roll your shoulders down away from the ears and simply close your eyes. Let's begin our practice today by simply just coming into the breath, coming into the present moment and focusing on that heart beating underneath your hands. For this moment right now, setting an intention to let go of anything that's bothering you, that's weighing you down in your life, and simply focusing on this heartbeat, your breath and moment. On your next inhale, go ahead and reach both of your arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, now bring the arms down, interlace the fingers behind you, extend through the elbows as you look up, open through that heart center. And then as you exhale, release into child's pose with the arms and fingers pointed up to the sky. Come on back up to seated, opening through the heart, look up. Exhale, bring it back down. So we're just moving with the breath here. Inhale, slowly come on up. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears, look up. Exhale, come back down. Staying here for just another breath. And then when you are ready to come up, I'd like you to come all the way up to your knees at this time. Arch the back gently, look up. Then exhale, step your left foot to the front of your mat. Keep your hands behind your back, fingers interlaced, holding this low lunge position. Allowing the hips to dive forward so you feel this nice extension and release of your psoas. And then bring your chest towards that front knee as the fingers reach back up to the sky. Work with the breath. Open up. And exhale, bring the heart down to the knee. Inhale, open, simply moving the upper body, lower body stays still in the low lunge. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, open. And exhale, bring the chest down. Then bring your body up, release the fingers and reach both arms up to the sky. And then slowly release your hands onto the mat And then you're going to push your weight over to the back knee as you flex and extend the front leg. Again, moving to the rhythm of your own breath. Inhale, you come forward, low lunge. Exhale, you push back and release, half split. Inhale, low lunge. So getting a little deeper into the hamstring now. Exhale, release, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale. Half split, let's stay here now. Flex the front foot, feeling that nice release extension of your hamstring, your calf muscle. Forehead comes down towards your knee or your shin.
and then begin to drop all the way down until you can come to a seated position on both sit bones. Reach both arms up to the sky so your right knee is bent, the other leg is straight and just come into your forward fold. Release all the way. Now if this feels too intense on that right knee, you're more than welcome to release this position and simply place the foot to the inside of your inner left thigh and allow your right knee to open in more of a butterfly pose. So listen to your body. Again, we don't want anything to feel too painful. You want to find comfort and ease in each posture. Inhale. Exhale. Come on up. Arms up. Now place your right hand behind you. I want you to push and bring yourself up to that right knee. If you are in a butterfly pose, just readjust yourself. So we're on one knee, the other foot comes up to the ball of your foot. The heel is lifted and you're opening through that chest and heart. Inhale. And then exhale, we're going to return and sit back down to that single-legged forward fold. Release your head towards your shin or knee. And then once more, we come back up into this single-legged variation of camel. Inhale. Exhale, come back down. Same position, both sit bones grounded. Now this time, just readjust so both of your knees together and come back down onto your elbows. Maybe throw your head back into our single-legged hero's pose. Or if it's within your practice, feel free to come all the way down, resting your head on the mat and place both hands onto your heart once again. So taking this opportunity of stillness to return back to the breath, and return back to that beating of your own heart in your chest. Allowing the rhythm of your heart to remind you of where you are right now. To bring you into this present moment. To turn off all the chatter in your mind, all the worries, just for a moment. And simply find this beautiful, peaceful stillness within your heart. Inhale, and exhale, let it go. Now we're slowly going to come out. If you're all the way on your back, come back over to your elbows first. Opening the chest, and then all you're going to do is bend that straight leg and just plant the heel and the foot on the floor. Come on up to your hands and then shift your weight over to that front foot, extending the back leg into a lunge position. Inhale, exhale, step back into high plank, take a chaturanga to the mat. Release your belly and your hips, press it into the floor, just come up into a cobra, exhale down. Inhale, little baby lift with your body. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, now press. Exhale, let it go. Work with the breath. Push into the hands. Come on up into a full upward facing dog, holding here for a little bit longer. And then bend your knees and come back into child's pose. Resting your forehead on the mat, fingers reaching to the front of your mat. Take that exhale, take that release that you need. And then slowly roll yourself forward. Step your right foot now to the front of your mat into low lunge. Interlace the fingers behind your back, extending and opening through the chest, inhale. On your exhale, bring your chest and heart towards that front thigh. Inhale, open. See if you can bring the hips a little lower down. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, forward.
Now inhale, bring your body up, release the fingers, and bring the arms up to the sky. Then drop your hands to the mat. You're going to push towards the back knee, flex and extend the front leg, forehead down. Work with the breath first. Inhale, come forward with your hips. Exhale, extend and release. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, come forward. And exhale. Now let's hold it here. Making sure the front foot stays flexed. You feel that engagement in your calf muscle. You feel that release in your hamstring. Square the hips out and breathe with me. Exhaling the tension, the restriction, the stiffness out of your body at this time. Now from here, lift up and just sink all the way back down until both sit bones are grounded. Move your calf muscle a little bit out of the way. Reach your arms up to the sky and then exhale, take your forward fold with that one leg extended, the other bent. Now remember, if you're feeling too much pressure in your left knee that's bent, then you can release out of this single hero pose and just place the foot to the inside of your right thigh, which will force the knee to open in a butterfly position. So take whatever modification you need, even if you have to pause this video to readjust, that's wonderful. Let's take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, bring your body up, arms up. Now take both hands behind you. You're going to push into the floor and then bend that front knee and lift up to the back knee, opening your body. Maybe taking a hand mudra with your index and thumb together. Your other heel, the front heel, lifts off the mat so you're balancing on the ball of your foot. Pushing the hips forward so you're continuing to feel this opening and then come back down one more time. Just release forehead to your knee and release into that arch one more time. Good. Hold a little longer here. Open through that heart center. And then come down. Beautiful. Come back to center. And once you're ready, Walk over to your elbows, bending the front knee if you need to, or if you're comfortable as well, come back all the way with your back to the floor, hands onto your heart. If you want to remain on your elbows, that's fine. Wherever you are, close your eyes and just feel your breath. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Feel the energy that is moving through your body at this time, this prana, this universal life force. Constantly moving, keeping you alive and healthy and well. Bring your awareness to that right now, to everything that's happening internally. Silence all of the external noise and welcome and raise the volume on the internal experience within. Staying with the breath and allowing each exhale to guide you slightly deeper into that relaxed state. Inhale. Now exhale, bring your arms up. If you're all the way on your back, come on over to your elbows. Bend the front knee, and then let's all come forward and meet each other in our lunge. Inhale, exhale, step back into plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. And exhale, bend your knees, release into child's pose. And so take this opportunity right now to just be with your breath. Close your eyes for a moment. And then on your large, slow exhale, round forward, drop your hips, lift your thighs, upward facing dog, and then push into the hands and come into your first downward facing dog. Opening through the body here. Allow the heels to come down to the mat if that feels nice. 
Maybe add a little movement by walking it out on the spot, bending one knee at a time. Inhale. Exhale out. Inhale again. Exhale, allow that heart to come down towards the mat. Extend through the back. Spread your fingers out and wide. And then on your next inhale, you're just going to lift your heels, come up to your tippy toes, bend your knees, just tap the knees to the mat, and then extend back into downward dog. We're going to do this a few times. Tap the knees and press down. See if you can go a little bit deeper with the heels to the mat in your downward dog. Push down. Lift, tap the toes, and press down. Wonderful. Inhale, hold it here. Exhale, go a little deeper. Now we're going to prepare and get into our pigeon pose. So to do that, first I'd like you to go ahead and bring your right leg up, bend your knee, and then place your right knee towards your right thumb. Rest your shin and your calf muscle on the mat. Square the hips out. Make sure the straight leg is right along the middle of your mat. Wiggle a little bit as you need to. Exhale, bring your forehead down. Just a few times, we're gonna do an up and down movement of the chest only to really prepare your body to find stillness in this posture. Inhale, open. Exhale, let go. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale, let go. Now from here, let's find our stillness. Rest your forehead on the mat. Hands can stay next to your body and find your breath once again. These postures that target our glute and our piriformis muscles, such as a pigeon pose, are very powerful in helping us release any pent up negativity, stress, anxiety that we may be holding physically within our body. So this is a time where I want you to really open yourself up to everything that may arise. Whether the emotion is sad, anger, happy, frustrated, whatever it is, whatever form it takes shape in, accept it and welcome it and then let it go. Let that energy release so that you can create space within your own mind and heart for more beautiful, positive and peaceful experiences and energies to enter into your body but also into your life experience. So stay here and just breathe in and let it all go. Let's take another deep breath in here. And then exhale everything out. Slide your hands back to the mat, lift your body. Then tuck your back toes under and push into the hands and simply come back into downward dog and walk it out on the spot. Feel free to shake out your leg a little bit if that's what's needed. And then let's come through into high plank position again, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's just hold here for another breath in, going a little deeper into this downward dog, exhale out. And then let's come into our pigeon pose on the other leg. 
So once you're ready, we're going to simply reach your left leg up towards the sky. And then take your left knee to your left thumb. Slide your right leg back to the middle of your mat. And then release forehead to the floor for one. Press into the fingers. Let's just open up the chest and bring it down for two. Open out and bring it down for three. And one more time. Open up and exhale. Bring it down for four. Good. From here, just find a comfortable position. Rest your hands by your side or you can place one hand over the other and rest your forehead on top. Whatever feels good for you. Close your eyes and once again, just come into this beautiful, peaceful internal awareness within. Focusing on only the inhale and the exhale, the heart beating in your chest, and all the sensations that may arise within your body physically, but also everything that may come up emotionally as well. Being very kind and compassionate to everything that arises, accepting it for what it is, welcoming it, and then letting it go. So creating that space for the energy to flow, to open the restricted channels within your body, to create that space that you deserve. Inhale. And exhale. Let it go. Let's take our final breath in. Long and gentle exhale as you push into the hands. Open up your body. Tuck your back toes under. Push into the hands and you're going to come up into downward facing dog. Moving your downward dog. Walk it out on one spot. Just let go. And let's take our final flow once you're ready. Coming through into plank position, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Great job. Inhale, and exhale. Let's come down onto our knees, sit back to the heels and just release into your child's pose. Closing your eyes once again, just focusing on the inhale and the exhale, allowing yourself to surrender your body over to the mat, feeling yourself supported and held by your mat and the ground underneath you. Inhale. And let it go, exhale. Now we're slowly going to come up to seated position and close up our practice today with a pranayama exercise called Nadi Sodana, or alternate nostril breathing. This is a wonderful breathing exercise to help calm the mind, especially at times of higher stress or anxiety. So to do that, take your right hand, place your right thumb on your right nostril, your middle and index finger on your third eye, ring finger on your left nostril. We're going to start by opening the right nostril, inhaling all the air into one, constricting the left. Then constrict both nostrils. Open the left nostril, exhale the air out of the left. When you're done exhaling, inhale air back into that same left nostril. Hold, block both. Open the right, 
Exhale the air out of the right. So continue to do that at your own pace. Inhale into the right. Close. Exhale out of the left. And then same thing into the left. Exhaling out of the right. So take whatever time you need to continue to do this exercise. If you need to stop the video and do it a little longer, go ahead and do so. But this practice is amazing at not just only balancing your right and your left hemisphere of your brain, it also allows us to find a wonderful equilibrium of our own energy. So when our energy feels off, or impacted by too much external stimuli. This is a wonderful exercise to bring yourself back into that center. Continue to go along at your own pace. Again, if you'd like to go longer, pause the video at this time. Otherwise, finish your last round and then meet me with your hands down Resting back on your heart. Close your eyes and just breathe normally through both nostrils. Once again, feeling that beat of your own heart under your hands. Reminding you of this beautiful life that you have. Reminding you of the power that you hold to bring yourself into the state of balance and peace whenever you need to. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this practice. I send you all my love, all my light, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you are interested in taking your practice to a deeper level, we highly suggest a full body and mind detoxification. And for the first 100 people who sign up, we are offering an exclusive 30% off coupon to one of our most popular and valuable premium programs. Get Boho Beautiful Detoxify. Visit www.bohobeautiful.life slash detoxify or click the link in the description and get an exclusive 30% off for the first 100 orders using the coupon start now. Thanks again and see you on the mat.